Hello all there, Tony Baker from Six String Country, back for another guitar lesson. We're going to be looking at Man of Constant Sorrow today, and it's a traditional American folk tune. It's been done by a lot of people. Um, we're doing our own arrangement, but we're kind of modeling it around uh, the popular version from the Soggy Bottom Boys from the movie Oh Brother Where Art Thou. We're going to have this introduction, um, and then we're going to learn how to play the verse progression. And then we're inserting a little solo acoustic solo that's going to play around with chords and the melody and some riffs all at the same time, uh, breaking up the third and the fourth verses. Here we go. All right, for this introduction, let's get a capo on the third fret. We're gonna be in drop D tuning, so you should be able to play a D chord, play all the strings and have it sound like this. For drop D, just take this low E string and down tune it a whole step until it's a D note and it matches. Your sixth and your fourth string are the same pitch. One octave lower for the sixth string, okay? And so for this first intro, it's very close to what we've got on that record from the Soggy Bottom Voice, and it looks like this. Two, three, four. All right, let's get just that much. 
All right, so we're starting on the uh, uh, third fret of the A string in the open low D string. And we're hammering on to five on the A string. We do it again. And then another down stroke, and then third fret of D with an up stroke. And then back to the fifth fret of A, pull off to three, pull off to open. And then uh, fifth fret of low E, or the low D string. Pull it off to open, and then third fret. And you want to have that third fret be your middle finger so that you can get ready for this D chord. Um, but one more time on that riff, two, three, four. And then we're right on this D chord. For this song, I like playing the D with the pointer finger on the second fret of G and the ring finger on the third fret of B for most of the song so that we can do the riffs like this. Right, which we're gonna get to later, but you're in position if you have the chord like this. All right, so we just got done with the riff, and then we do this. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up. And then the singers come in, um, and we go to an A chord which is open, two, two, two. And we do the same thing, down, 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 up, down, up, and then third fret, with just like a quarter bend each time, and then you're back to the D. So the whole thing so far is two, three, four. Alright, so now we're going to learn that last measure with that riff. So we go down, down, up, up, then open third, open A string to third three, open D, oh, a quick one on the open A string, then three of D, pull it off to open, then three of low D, and then we're back to the D. So three, four. And that, that last uh, D note is the first bar of the verse. Okay, that's the first note of the verse. Because then we're going to start doing some more strumming for this first progression. That's the next thing we're going to learn here, is this first progression. And we're going to start on a D and go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, then third fret, like that. And then again, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. But this time, we're going to take our fingers all the way off and get our ring finger on the third fret of low E so we can slide into our G chord. Then we slide into this G chord, okay, which is fifth fret, mute the H string, open G, open G, I'm sorry, open D, open G, third fret of B, but it's the same strum pattern. Once we get up here, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up to the A, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Same thing with our third finger there, and back to the D. With the same riff. All right, and that's the first half of the verse. So let's play it nice and fluently and nice and slow, okay? From the top of the verse, two, three, four. Now we're to the second half of the verse progression. When we get here, the first part's just the same. So we start with this low D note again, and then the rest of the chord, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Slide into the G, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, A. This time, So the second time we do a little bit different riff, all right, and it really it should feel like this, three, four, one, e and up. So we're doing an up stroke, we do the down stroke there, then we do an up stroke on the rest of the chord, and then three of A, pull it off to open, three of low E, open, down, up, down, up. So coming off that A, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. All right, I'll play the whole verse again when we're done, but let's just quick go over the turnaround. At the end of the verses, we go back to the A, 
We already know how to do this. So we're on the A, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then the D. With that riff we already know, and that's how we get out of the verses, okay? So uh, let's go through the whole verse now, nice and slow again, all the way top to bottom. One, two, three, top of the verse. Now that we've got the verses tackled, which repeat the same for all of the different uh, verses. There's five verses total. We do the intro, then we do three verses, and then in the middle we're going to stop and we're going to do this uh, solo acoustic solo, where we're going to be incorporating pieces of the melody in with the chords and doing it all with just one guitar part. I'll demonstrate it now. All of this that we're talking about, by the way, is all tabbed out right beneath the video player at sixstringcountry.com, excuse me, sixstringcountry.com, including this solo. So, Pull those up, that will help a lot, and I'll demonstrate it. We'll go over it note by note, uh, and then I'll go a little closer to full tempo one final time. All right, so here's how it looks. Two, three, four. So that's how it looks. Let's dissect this note by note. To start, let's get our fingers on a D chord, but put our fingers on a slightly different position. Open, open, open. Middle finger, uh, then third finger, ring finger on this B string, okay? And we're gonna start by muting the B string. And you can almost just try, just try and strum the, the, the bottom four strings, all right? An open G, hammering onto two, and then an up stroke. And then the same thing, but this time include the B string and hammer on one to three. And after the upstroke, uh, we go, yeah, so we go hammered on, upstroke, and then two of G, pull it off to open, third fret of D. But when you're hitting that third fret of D, reset um, your D chord like this, right? Open, open, open pointer finger, third finger, because then we're going to go open D, and if you hit the rest of these notes then, that's okay, it just adds a little bit to the sound. So, so far we have this. Then we go down to open D, then the low strings, open D again, third fret of A, pull it off to open, third fret of low E, and then on the bottom low strings, and then we take our middle finger, three, five, five, three, open. And then we're gonna slide into a G chord, all right? Uh, so, so far, the first couple measures there is two, three, four. Okay, then we do this. Slide back into a G and just start strumming. Down, down, up, down, up, then down, down, open A, three, and then an A power chord, down, down. And then down on the open A string again. So we're just kind of walking down a scale. Down, 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 down on the second fret, open to G. Uh, third fret of D, back to open G. Back to the D string, three, two, open, three of A, open, third fret of F. So those two measures again. Um, D. 
All right, we already know that riff, right? Down, up. And then we repeat it. So we're gonna switch our formation again here um, for this first D chord, and we're gonna hammer on. Right, and back to the G. And back to the D. But this time, we go into uh, the turnaround, and we're gonna do that like this. All right, so we're, think about this version of playing an A. We're gonna start it here on the fourth fret above the capo of the D string, third fret above on G, second fret on B, and try to hit just those three strings. Walk it up three times, and then this last time, include that A, a note, the open A string, and slide it up. Down, down, up, and then we do this. So think about getting a D minor shape on this hand and kind of rake it across. First fret of high E, then three of B, first fret, two of G, open, third fret of D, and then same D riff, down, up, riff, down, down, up, down, up. All right, and that is the whole solo. Okay, so let's do um, just that last part again before we do the whole thing. Two. Three, four, one. All right, so that's the whole solo. You can always go to the jam along. You can isolate tracks on our mixer. You can slow it down. You can loop sections. You can loop sections of this video. You can slow this video down. Um, look at the tabs, chord chart. Um, you've got all the resources you need at sixstringcountry.com to take your time and work this up to speed. It's 88 beats per minute, so you might need to start it slower, say 60. It's short enough, there's a lot of repetition. Memorize these sections and just work them up to tempo. When you're ready, play this along with me here and then also at full tempo on the Jam Along video. All right, here's how it looks. Two, three, four. <laughs> In constant sorrow through all his days, I am a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days. Now I bid farewell to old Kentucky, place where I The place where he was born and raised For six long years I've been in trouble No pleasure here on earth I've found For in this world I'm bound to ramble I have no friends to help me now He has no friends to help him now And it's fair the well My old true lover I never expect to see you again For I'm bound to ride Hide that northern railroad Perhaps I'll die on this train Perhaps he'll die upon that train
You can bury me in some green valley for many years where I may lay. And you may learn to love another while I am sleeping in my grave. While he is sleeping in his grave Baby, your friends think I'm just a stranger My face you never will see no more But there is one promise that is given I'll meet you on God's golden shore. He'll meet you on God's golden shore.